Hi guys, it's Weighted and I am working with some encaustic. This is some encaustic board that comes uh, pre-gessoed with encaustic gesso and I have put four layers, you can see I've got wax everywhere, but I've put four layers of medium on top, brushed it on top, which the medium is a mixture of beeswax and Damar resin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But the four layers give you something to to work with. And while that's cooling off a little bit, I, let me explain. I'm working in a series. And the first one I did was this. It did not turn out how I wanted it. I hate this this black. The paint moved so much more. This was oil stick, and it, it, I went to put medium on top of it, and it moved. It was a learning experience. I've got the little no love always in here. And it just wasn't quite what I was after. But I, I loved, I did love the movement. So I, I tried again, and I like this. I like the marble spray, Krylon marble spray, and I hate the heart. Okay, the heart was more controlled in this one. Um, I like this. I like how everything broke up down here. That was intentional. But this heart just, this, it's, I don't feel it. it I'm not feeling it. So, I'm, and I usually do this quite often. I'll work in a series trying to figure out what I do and, and don't like. So, I am going to be working with more of this. I, I want some more movement, so I'm going to try a different method of really getting that movement in and not getting too carried away with the black and probably using some of this uh, marbling spray because I really do like it. And... Um, I need to go shut the door to my husband's workshop because his music is and coming through. Can you, hey, I'm filming. Can you shut your door so the music doesn't bleed through? Thank you. All right. So the first thing that I want to do, um, these brushes are encaustic brushes, and I've got wax on them since I've been playing. Uh, I'm going to use um, unbleached titanium and a neutral gray and I'm going to add a little background color to it so let me check my temperature I am using I'm going to slip the camera over there if I can yeah there we go okay uh, I'm just using a pancake griddle a small pancake griddle keeps it much more affordable than if you buy the full-blown encaustic set. Start off with a few colors and it works well. I'm going to take these and apply them directly to the griddle. They'll melt and then I'll have something that I can use on my board. So I'm melting the unbleached titanium. And this is this is R and F. Okay, come on, there we go. I've got to get my brush softened up and all right. And I just I want the unbleached titanium on the top for a touch of color. And I need more. So let me get just melting it down. The other brand that um, I'm using is Encausticos. Probably mispronouncing that too, which is the stick. And they also come in wax snaps. And I'll reach over and grab one in a minute to show. Okay, so now I'm going to, I need to clean my brush. I got through a lot of paper towels. 
you clean your brush by dipping it in either something called slick wax, which is really just palm wax, and then that helps, but after that I then use brush cleaner as well. So to try and keep my brushes in good condition. And again, these are made specifically for encaustic work, so still need this one. Going to use the gray now. Again, applying the gray directly to the griddle. It's kind of funny because when I work with this gray, and I'm going to overheat it on the um, on this, and we see it start to break down into its composite colors, which I actually like. Melting more gray. Melting more gray. Okay, break that up a little bit. I'm going to go in and get some more of this right there. Right there. Okay, all of that is going to get blended and kind of blown away. Okay. Let me clean the, there's a little bit of wax on my griddle. Let me clean it up that way if I need another color. It won't get contaminated. If you do use if you do play with encaustics, just remember it is wax that you're melting. It does have a flash point, so you don't really want to leave it unattended. And now I apologize for the noise. This is a heat gun. I put it on low. But I really, really heat this up. Okay. So. Oh, there it goes. Melting, breaking down. Softening, softening up. That's what I'm after. That's it. Breaking up. I have 
have broken up the gray and it's got little flecks and everything there's a little bit of the pink coming out down here and I'm not worried about the fact that it's it's gone over okay um, it's going to do that especially when I like to move the wax around as much as I do now I need to let this cool for just a minute so I don't know if I can slide this out of the way just a little Okay, I need to put a layer of wax on top of that to kind of seal it in just a little bit. I don't want to touch it just yet. I need it to cool off. But I want to work on the, the heart that I'm going to put in there. I want to kind of pre-draw it and then I'll scribe it in. And I've got wax everywhere. Which honestly, when I was cleaning the wax out, I cut my uh, I cut my craft mat, and that's why I did the little video on how to do a quick repair on your craft mat. And this one is old enough, and I have its replacement, and I've had its replacement for years, but I just keep abusing this one as long as it still holds up. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Okay. So, let's see. I'm judging the size, that's all. And... Okay. About right here, I think. Nope, not curved. There. Nope. Up. A little steeper. Down a little steeper. I am not trying to get this exact. This is going to be very rough, but I do want some basics. Okay. Good little heart. see the, the size I'm going for. So that'll work. Okay. This was Mars Red, which I really liked. And I don't, I've only got that in the oil stick, which is right here. So that's what I've been using. And while I love the color, I don't have Mars Red in wax. <sighs> So I'm going with natural crimson. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I get something that I like. And putting my brush back in the wax and having to let it kind of melt the wax that's already on there to soften the bristles. There we go. Just a quick coat. This medium is not clear. It has that soft um, translucent quality to it that I do love. Okay. There. All right. Some. Okay. And uh, this is the wax snaps that I was telling you about that you can also get your wax in. And that's by Encoast Coast too, the same people that do the little sticky things here. So I need more medium. Now, while this is still kind of warm, I want to melt it and soften.
at medium, it's almost like gesso where it kind of pushes what you've done into the background a little bit more. So now I need to go with the heart. And I want to scribe this in. And this wax is very soft. So I'm going to put the heart where I want it. Trying to keep it from sticking in there. Okay, pulling it up. So I've scrubbed my heart because the wax was still kind of warm. Now I really need the wax to dry. Um, it needs to get much cooler than it is. So. Maybe I should just play with it without it doing that. See what happens. That sounds good to me. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going into my Napsol Crimson. And I'm putting a little bit of wax down just along the outline. Why not break the rules a little bit? Hmm. And see, I'm getting a lot of wax on this brush and it's globbing it's globbing on here and I can't decide if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing hmm that's too much I think I'm going to take a little knife and remove some of that. Not a standard technique. Let's see. That's just a bit much. Haha. <laughs> I think I might be good with that. Now, let me put the lid the cap. Whoops, it's got bread box on it. <laughs> Rip the whole knife out. Okay. I will work on that one later. Okay. So, I'm going to put another layer of medium on top. So, I'm going to work my brush again. And it is streaking the heart a little bit. That's good. It probably wouldn't if I'd let it dry a little bit more, but I'm okay with that because what I really want is I want some movement from this wax, and I don't mind having a little bit of that red distributed. Okay. Now let's 
burn that in. So I got it to move around, it kind of disintegrated this part of the heart. Okay with that, we've got this part, so this is just sort of moved on off. I do need to smooth this out. that heart shape back just a little bit but I do really like that movement and I really think this needs smoothing out <laughs> I'm uh, yeah I'm picky okay. So I also wanted to move some of this around a little bit. And I like that movement. I like the way it moved around. It's sort of an abstract heart. At this point, I think what I'm going to do is spray just a little bit of this marbling spray on it. I need to leave to do that, so I will be right back. Oh yeah, I, I like, yes, that's, and this is the marbling spray, okay, and I'm just going to go over, well, I'll tell you what, a little spray box and I love it it's well used you can see where I was spraying the marbling spray in there earlier and my chair will not slide forward ah okay so I'm going to rest this and I'm going to pull this forward just a little bit so you can sort of see. Oh no. There we go. And I'm going to step back and hopefully I'm not going to do anything like uh, spray the lens. Right. 
And then I want a little bit there. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to leave that. I don't know if I want to leave that or put another coat of wax to play down. There we go. That black just a little bit. I, I do like the marbling. I don't like the marbling on this one as much as I like the marbling on this one, but I'm still pretty happy with it. Okay, some of it's not quite dry. <laughs> Wonder if the heat gun would dry it. Live and learn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. 